Hey, welcome back guys, it's Slider Havoc here. We are back on some Sky Factory at I now calling this Automation Nation, because I swear that's all I'm trying to do is just automate everything. Um what these little guys right here, okay, I can't figure out why, but they keep following through and then they attack me every now of it. And this looks like like a baby pause and pause right there. I can't I can't get my cursor on him, but yeah, it's like a little baby pause and pause, I think. Yeah, but I keep getting attacked by these little guys, they're annoying as heck. Uh, I don't know what mod it comes from, but hey, you know, they're there. Uh, so anyways, so I uh, made some changes, all right? So when we had left off, we had just finished the farmer over there, and I was, you know, okay. So remember I told you, I didn't want the farmer because I was tired of getting hurt by these things. Well, watch. I'm not getting hurt by them anymore. I, I realized that other people were being able to play and weren't being hurt, and I wanted to know why. And I realized that uh, most people are now playing on 2.5. And I didn't realize, because I had been playing on the 18 launcher, that uh, I didn't have the most recent update, because apparently uh, now everything after 2.4 is on V the Beast. So I downloaded the 2.5 launcher and uh, switched over my map to the new uh, launcher, I guess, uh, new mod pack. And I, I did lose all of my magical crops. When I mean all of them, I mean all of them. I mean, I lost... All of these crops here, they weren't in the ground anymore. Everything that was in this chest, well, the, the crops themselves, the Menencio Essence, were all gone. And so I had to start over. But it was okay until... Huh, this is actually following my now lost episode. I don't know what happened. Um, my video, it, it, record, it recorded my YouTube screen. I had uh, my internet open and I captured the wrong screen and was capturing my YouTube just sitting there for about half an hour. It was not what I had intended, but you know, hey, whatever, it, stuff happens. So, yes, we are, we are here. So let me show you a little bit of what we did in the lost episode. Um, <coughs> I had actually done this in between. I wanted to charge this thing and I was trying to think about how to run power over to it. And then I was like, hey, do we have any solar? And we do, we, there's actually a, um, a solar mod actually called uh, Solar Flux, right? And it's pretty cheap and easy to make these if you haven't done it yourself. Uh, it's just some wood, redstone, and these little mirrors, which are really cheap, just glass and uh, aluminum. It gives you a couple of them. And uh, you can make these guys. And they're really, really cheap to make. And eight of these guys with a uh, redstone reception coil gives you the upgrade <coughs> so i made a whole bunch and now i've got eight of these guys or nine of these guys on here and you say for the most part they stay pretty much fully charged at least during the daytime and they're running at like 100 percent. now they're dropping because the nighttime's coming and fall into the 80s but it keeps this guy fully charged and so it's it's running useful and i'm getting a decent amount uh, amount of this uh menencio essence and I plan on expanding this farm uh, pretty soon. Uh, this farm I haven't really touched. I just I planted it all and just never really did anything with it. As you can see, the sprinkler's not even going because I turned. I, I haven't refilled the water in forever. Um, actually, ever since I first set it up, I filled the tank once and that was it. So yeah, you can see the, the tank's empty. Ooh, but that's kind of pretty. You can see straight down. Anyways. <coughs> And this kind of led to me thinking how... This is actually what led to the episode that I lost. I, I don't want to live in this wooden empire. Okay? I don't want to live in this wooden empire. I want it to feel like a real home. Which means I'm going to need a lot more dirt. Right? So, you know me, I... Automation. Automation, automation. So I automated a dirt farm. Right? So basically I did the same thing. I, put, I built another farmer and uh, I charged it up with these uh, solar panels over here. Uh, same kind of thing. Uh, these use a little bit more. I don't know. Um, anyway, so I put the farmer down, put in some seeds. I'm just working in this little small area right here. Didn't really need a lot because I was like, you know, I kept doing all the saplings earlier to get the wood or the dirt. And then I realized, you know, um, leaves actually give you a ton. You get a ton of leaves per tree and they work the same. It's eight per uh, dirt, right? So there you go. Leaves. So I put in a chest of... Uh, shears right here that pump into the uh, farmer and then the farmer does his job it chops down gets all the leaves all the leaves get outputted through uh, this transfer node into all of these wood barrels over here the wood barrels once they're done uh, composting ooh, careful um, they actually get pulled out and then put into here and you can see I've already got 
almost two stacks of dirt. This has only been up and running for maybe an hour or two. So that's pretty quick. I mean, that's a, I think that's a pretty decent amount of dirt in a short amount of time when I'm not really having to do anything. And then all my apples and the wood gets collected over here because it gets pulled out on that side. And then if I ever want to speed the process up because I really need some more real quick, I can just throw a bone meal, which I've got tons of because I get tons of bones from the, uh, the farm over there. So yes, we have our auto dirt farm. It works pretty good. Let me see if it tears this one down while I'm just standing here. It's got power, right? You got power? Yeah, you got power. Why aren't you chopping? Chop, chop, chop. The axe. Oh, my axe is broken. Well, let's go fix that real quick. I think I should have iron in this chest. And if I open this chest, you should have an idea of what we may be doing this episode. Uh, at least what my plan is for this episode. Oh, uh, let's grab another ingot. I got plenty of iron. Because I'm going to show you. I This was not just the dirt farm this is not the only thing i did uh we had a pretty <laughs> pretty eventful episode that just kind of went to waste um interesting this one doesn't seem to be giving me any skill xp so it's not really leveling it up do you have to like use it once is that what i need oh whoa, whoa that tree's gone um let me use it myself one time i don't know if it's like that changes things or anything. And then, oh, you know what? I should have some bone meal left in this since it's out of water. Nope, ran out of all the bone meal. All right, I was just gonna try to uh, speed this process up over here with the trees and see if this is gonna use my ax and actually give me some levels, but we'll see. It's got one, you'd figure, because I, I could have sworn my Maddox leveled up over here. I'm almost positive my Maddox leveled up. Yeah, the Maddox is being leveled up, and I haven't been using it, so I would assume the axe would also work. So, anyways, um, yes, on to what else we did. So, I wanted, when I had to make that other farmer, I needed some more soul sand, right? And so, I set this little guy up. I finally got, it's called an ancient spore. Put an ancient spore on dirt, you get this mycelium. You take, do I have any buckets? I don't have any buckets. Water, and as it sits in my ceiling, this is where I get the witch's water. So I didn't have to get my little cow over there and uh, keep getting witch's water from him. I can now just put a bucket of water in here, and it turns into witch's water, put the sand in, and get uh, soul sand. Now here is my, my pride and joy setup that I'm loving. By the way, I'm just letting you know this all will be relocated once I kind of get a little more open base, you know? a little more I want a lot more dirt I want a lot more grass I want a more real feeling and until then where I can start building pathways and stuff like that it's yeah it is what it is so anyways we know my lava farm I love my lava farm right it keeps this thing going and then it keeps my little generator right here maxed out uh, power is gonna be an issue pretty soon and uh, so then I was like huh if I pull some cobble and this really bothers me when I do I need to turn this off I, it's just a, like an aesthetics thing for me. There's no reason for those to be connected. Hey, there we go. There we go. Should just be going straight through, right? Cobble into here. And I don't know, can I disconnect you? You're gonna bother me. Yes, okay, so cobble goes straight into here. Um, cobble then gets ground into gravel and byproduct of sand. Sand goes out the back over here, even though I've got this filled with cobble at the moment. Uh, into these auto sieves and they just keep powered from the little generator right there and it auto sieves and then the gravel goes into this one and auto sieves and then they something sound like a broke I don't know what broke something sound like a broke anyways and then they get sucked out and into these chests right here and metal for days all these ores 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 for days look how much we have I've almost got two stacks of iron almost two stacks that's freaking awesome so never have to worry about running out of supplies again um, once again this one's also only been running for like an hour or two I haven't got a lot of gold 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 seems to be in short supply iron definitely not in short supply um, picking some good tin some silver a little bit of platinum which I think is the the equivalent to shiny ore um, or shiny ingots got some cocoa beans Oh yeah, here you go, the ancient spores. That's how I got the uh, 
the mycelium. Ancient spores on dirt get to the mycelium. So anyways, so we've now got an automated uh, metal collector, uh, ore collector, right? So we've automated that, we've automated dirt, um, automated lava, mm -hmm. automated cobble. <coughs> we've got a lot of automation going on. It's the automation nation. But along with that, lots of storage issues. Lots of storage issues. Just chests everywhere. These are from all my um, loot bag chest stuff. And chests over here, chests over here. Chests everywhere. And I thought maybe we can try. These little guys right here. These are. I, I recognize that. Who is that? Who is that? Bagoosh. These little guys are harassing me constantly. I can't figure out why. They're getting out, but they're getting out and they're harassing me. A lot. So anyways, I wanted to try to get a little um, applied energetics, any, uh, done today. And let's see if I can get just a basic setup. A very, very basic setup. Um, and I don't know if I have enough materials, but we're going to try. We are going to try. And we're going to really just dive right in. Um, and, and power might be an issue to begin with, but I can always just make another one of those lava generators for the time being. So applied, applied energetic. So the first thing I want to do is make an ME drive. Iron, we're rocking that. We got plenty of that. Uh, this ME glass cable, we're going to need, oh, that's going to get four, which is all we need, right? I only need two. So cool. Um, quartz fiber and two of these. Do I have? I only have one, so I'm gonna have to make one of those. What's the recipe for those? Um, I think it's like, yeah, it's nether quartz, uh, certus quartz, and redstone. Okay, so nether quartz, redstone, certus quartz. Craft that bad boy up like so. Okay, and that'll give me those four little cable thingies. Oh, I'm sorry, no, that will give me. I need to make this too. Uh, glass and a nether quartz or the certus quartz, which I got plenty of. So there's three. I've got some glass around here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. I've got glass. I might have used it all when I made all those solar panels. But that's okay. I've got sand down here that I can cook up real quick. In this chest. And uh, should have some in here too. Yep, there we go. So it's okay, we've got the glass. I'm gonna make some of those fiber cables. It cook you up in there. Oh ha, ha glass, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna make, I need you. And do you guys like that? All right, so three of those. And then that will let me make you, right? Four of those, cool, cool, good. doing good here. And these guys. These guys are made with a diamond, redstone, and some silicon, and this guy. Um, two sorts of course, iron, and two sticks. Uh, I don't have a sticks on me, but iron, two of those, and I got sticks like right here. So we can make that guy. Like that, right? Like my sound effects? Sound effects are awesome, aren't they? And let me drive you. And there's going to be two redstone and some of the silicon. And the silicon. Oh, you know, I need to cook up some of this stuff. Where is it at? This stuff right here. Cook some of that stuff up and it'll give me some of that silicone. Silicon. And we'll be good to go. Grab a little redstone. I need two. I need four total. And two diamonds, apparently. And there we go. There's one for one. And that's for two. Okay. And then ME drive. This guy, this guy. Auto you like that? I think, yeah, that guy just gets you used over again. Okay, cool. You, 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 and you. Okay. It's expensive to start <laughs> since we don't have a lot of diamonds. Uh, but we do get some. I, oh, well, you know what? I think I've got some down in the chest down here because of the sitting. Yeah, there's another one. Cool. All right, so I, I think I've got, got the iron here. I think I've got enough to make the, the drive. I don't know. Wait, what am I missing? Oh, i got to cook these guys up. That's what i got to do. Good enough for there. You two cook up. 
This is a little bit different. Um, I remember doing these before in the inscriber. Apparently, you don't need the inscriber if you have this uh, cutting knife, which is cool. I, I'm down with that. Just one less thing I had to make and one less thing I had to power up for the time being. But um, eventually we'll have so much power, it's not even going to matter. It'll just be really, really simple. Okay. So we've got the ME drive. And then I'm going to need a couple drives themselves. Uh, D R I V E. No, it's not that. It's called a storage cell. Yes, storage cell. Uh, no, that's creative. So that's going to be um, some quartz glass, some iron, some redstone, and this guy. This is going to be four of those. How do I make this guy? With gold. Okay, I can handle that. I can handle that. Maybe we'll make a couple of those really quick. And uh, I'm going to need four of these. Got the little knifey knife and got the silicon. Cool. So, if I remember correctly, it was like that, 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 and the knifey knife. Two of those. We'll cook those up real quick. Because I'm going to want to make a couple of these. And then that would be four of those and four of those. So it's going to be eight. Eight redstone and eight of these crystals now I need to start making um, if I remember correctly before I use all this let me grab these real quick if I remember correctly if you've got this dust the surface coarse dust and you put it with sand you get these seeds if I remember right yes surface coarse seeds so it gives me eight so it, it doubles the yield and then I believe I don't know if it has to be in one one or if I can put it in something like that but they believe they start to grow um, they're gonna kind of freak out because of this whole half block thing so let us let us let us make a real let me grab a bucket of water and let's grab some wood real quick just so I can have an actual like a real legitimate Oh, you know what's funny? I can do this. Although, I don't know if I'd like them that close to the edge, but whatever. This is so temporary right here. I just want to be able to not have them like, glitching out in half slabs. I think that'll be okay. And so those are going to grow and become bigger and stuff like that. Cool. And you right there. Sell. And yes, in there. And we'll get two of these. There we go. And this glass is five of that with regular glass, which I just got a whole bunch of. What was it? The uh, quartz stuff, right? Yeah, the dust. So let me grab that dust real quick and make some of this stuff up. I think eight should be enough for right now. Don't want to use it all. Redstone, iron, I think we got it all. Oh, no redstone. I gotta grab the redstone. Redstone, and I've got two iron. I'm gonna need some more iron. Going to need some more iron. I really should make the base in here. So I can just do uh, blocks of it at a time. Because I think I'm all out of iron in here. Electrical steel, aluminum. Yeah, I'm all out of iron. So we'll make a couple of these up. <coughs> And I should be able to get a little bit of power. Although I don't have a way. <laughs> that thing over there is completely engulfed with stuff that's being charged. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. Um, make these bad boys up now. Now I can, right? Yes. Got those two. Cool. Better than chess. Yes, you are correct, sir. They are better than chess. All right. So I'm going to disconnect you real quick. I'm going to put the drive right here, plop these guys in, and yes, we've got places to put storage, but we don't have a way to access it yet because we need uh, item inventory or inventory, the screen, <laughs> For panel, is that what it's called, a panel? Um, what is it, the name of it? What is the name of it? Uh, should be towards the top. 
forget some of these things at applied. It's the little screen, it's a display screen. So I can see what's in my inventory. Where's the little screeny screen? Yeah, this guy. That's a crafting terminal. ME terminal, that's all I need. Well, can I make a crafting terminal right now? That looks a little bit more advanced. Okay, I can do you. Crafting terminal. A crafting table, that's easy peasy. Oh, and then the ME terminal, sure. Um, so they need one of these. How do I, how do I make these? Three of those glass, two glowstone, iron, and redstone. I got that. I got that. Just make a couple glowstone. Um, a little bit more iron. And then we should be able to access it and just start dumping stuff in there. I mean, I'm going to obviously need more storage. But for the time being, this is just a start to start clearing stuff out. And then I can start doing some wireless and running things around and all that fun stuff. But this is a start. It's a good start. Okay, cool. So, what would what 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 did we need? We needed. I needed you. Oh, I can craft you over here. What am I doing? What are you? Where did you go? Where did you go? The screen gets really thin like that. All right, cool. That I can make. Oh, I get three of those panels too. Cool. Um, and the crafting terminal. Um, how do I make these guys? Um, that means I'm going to have to make some more of those and crush them. Okay. ME terminal, right? Yeah, so I'm going to make some more of those. This is the gold guy again. I can do that. And this one is nether quartz with those crushed up crystals and this guy again. So I'm going to need two of those. All right. We can do this. We can do this. Um, just grab some of the gold. You know, I'm just grabbing everything that's in here. Just, just grab it all. That was the whole point was I wanted to grab it all. So we had it all. Yes. Um, so. You. I need you. I need two of you. So let's get two of you rocking. I've got the redstone. I've got the silicon. What, uh, why aren't you doing that? Bloop, bloop. Uh, yeah, I was rocking that. Let's go. Let's go with this nonsense. Okay, so I got those two. Um, I'm going to need one more of those. One more of those. Which needs, I need a few more of these. This is, the, I love the applied energistic stuff once you get it up and running. It makes life so, so much easier in Minecraft. When it comes to organization and storage and all that fun stuff, it makes life super, super simple. Like, be super duper, blah, 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 simple. Like, it just, yeah. Um, okay, I need to make two more of those crystals. And I should have the materials. Let me just keep clicking until I get to something that has that crystal in it. Nope. I need this. It's this. Because I'm going to need two of these. So I need two of these crystals here. And I can do that now. One, two. All right. And go pulverize these two real quick. And uh, just swap you guys out. There we go. Pulverize these bad boys for me. Thank you. That's quick and fast and easy. And I'm just going to dump that cobble and gravel in there. I've done it a couple times. As you can see, that's I get a surplus in there because I can't get it back into the system too easily. Um, okay, there you guys are done. Just grab this last one. And grab you. Okay, we're pretty close. We are pretty close to getting this terminal. Um, you, I can make you now, can't I? Why, why, why didn't it make you? I've got the crushed stuff. I got the yellow. I got the. I got, okay. I, I got these. And another one. I need this one with the nether quartz stuff. Cool. Now I can make the crafting terminal. Nope. I got to make you. I have to make you. Why? Oh, because that's the one thing. Okay. With these reusable ones, it's. I'm not going to say annoying per se, 
but it's a little bit like because it has a durability bar it doesn't match up as the same piece you need when you're shift uh shifting on the question mark to just autofill but you know whatever it's cool and let me go ahead and make a crafting table real quick now i should have my crafting station i should i should i should have my crafting station i can craft you up real quick there we go and i'm like so running out of room right now um some things will clear out crafting station oh wait no i need you get rid of this bone meal for right now all right gotcha and me crafting oh we're getting so high tech now getting so high tech and I'm just going to plop you right here. There we go. And then I can just put you right there, right? And then I can access. Do you have power? Are you getting power? You may not be getting power. Can I, like, I can't put anything in. Um, oh, do I need, like, that power converter thingy majig? Or there's a power source for applied energistics, I believe. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I can figure out the power source. Because um, I know I can do like the um, what's it called, the furnace thingy, Majig. This one, the vibration chamber. Um, yes, there's a there's a power source of some sort interface these little power cells um oh look, look, so, man, there's so much stuff i haven't messed with in so long and i'm so excited to do so uh quantum ring nope not there yet not there yet where oh where's the power source there's like a little converter thing that's a crafting unit uh it's this little block oh energy acceptor this is it okay it's just iron that guy and the crystal. Okay, so I gotta make another one of those. That's it. Oh, over here. Where are you at? This. I need the crystal. No, nope, not you. You. Gotcha. You. Doot, doot, doot. There we go. Got one of you there. And then. Nope. I need to make more of the glass. Four. Got it. Still have iron, so we're good there. And energy acceptor. Bingo, bango. Now, if I plug... Does the wrench work here? Does the wrench work on these guys? Yes, it does. Cool. Except, of course, I don't have any room in my inventory. Okay. So, if I put this energy acceptor... I don't need junk. What junk don't I need? I don't need that bone meal seal. Okay. You go like that. You should be accepting energy, right? And then for the time being, just to get you on here, you should be accepting power now, right? Right? And I don't know if you're considered part of the system at that point. <laughs> Get back here. Um, cable here. No, I don't have the green lights. I don't have green lights yet. Um, can I just do you here? Yeah, no. No. Energy acceptor. Do I have? Did I ever make any leadstone um, energy conduit? Conduit, conduit, conduit. I don't see it. It's a uh, leadstone. Leadstone. This one right here. This one's really, really simple. It's just glass and lead. Might have to go from cable into that little box. It might be what that is. Um, 
Got the redstone, got the glass. Cool, I can make that real quick. Okay, that might be how it has to rock and roll up. All right. And then if I put you there, do you connect? Yes, you do. Okay, cool. So you're getting power now. Still not getting power to this bad boy for some reason. You should be getting power now. You should be. I'm just trying to turn that one off. There we go. May not be getting a lot of power though. That could be part of the problem. And I know this system uses a lot of energy, so that 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 that, that could be what we do. we're gonna fix here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and collect all this stuff up. I'm gonna go ahead and dump some of this chest. Hey, um, nope, we're gonna dump in this chest. No, we're gonna make a new chest for all this ME stuff. Um, That way, we just kind of keep it all separate. And once again, I don't need that bone meal. Just put you right there. Okay. And chests, come here. We are going to get this. We're going to get this rocking and rolling. It's going to happen. Let me just dump all this crazy inventory that just filled up so fast. All right. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. All right. I should have enough materials to make another one of these uh, lava engines. Yes. Let's try to make another one. Uh, five gold, block of iron, two redstones, and a furnace. Got that. Got that in spades. Got that. Need five gold. One, two, three, four, five. Um, go grab nine ingots of iron. Yeah, we got this. We got this in spades. Got plenty of stuff. And then we can just pump over a little uh, lava to this guy. And we'll be able to power our AE. I don't know if this is going to put out enough to run AE. That's, that's actually a, a legitimate concern of mine now. So I know, and I forgot how much energy uh, the Applied Energistics uses. And I can always just put like an on-off switch um, with a lever. But, uh, so at least like the power can build up in it. And uh, it shouldn't be too big of a concern. But I just, I'm, I need to reduce my storage. My storage is like madness. Absolute madness right now. Uh, remove you. There we go. And then I can make you. Oh, no, I need to make the furnace. There we go. And then I can shift you, click you guys. Oh, I need the redstone. One, two. All right. Finally, now it will actually shift click in. Here we go. All right. And a fluid duct. A fluid duct would be useful. And I believe I have some, like, right here. Hey! Not another one of you guys. Ooh, I am way too close to the edge. Get away from me. These little guys are such pests. Where are you going? Get back here and die. Die with honor, man. Um, hardened fluid duct. Perfect. Okay. Remember, guys, as I do this, this stuff will all be pretty later. Okay. It will all be pretty later. But for the time being, this is what it's going to look like. Um, oh, I need a servo. It's always one more little thing. Always one more little thing. Um, oh, can I get the seeds? Are they... I don't, are they even far along yet? How far along are they? Oh, like 3%. Yeah, they take a while. So we'll go ahead and let them sit there again and do their thing and what was I looking for oh servos I have a servo around here somewhere I'm like everywhere because I was using so many earlier I can make one real quick those ones are really cheap servo 
Iron, redstone, glass. Got it, got it, got it. Let me grab those two ingots. I think I still got a couple nuggets in here. Right. Let's Oh, I forgot to grab the redstone and the glass. Glass, redstone. Craft you up quick like. There we go. And then I'm going to put you on like so. Turn redstone to ignore. You are charging up. Sweet, 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 sweet. And now I wonder... Can I just put the ME device next to it? Like, I mean, is that going to charge it, or do I actually have to do that energy acceptor? I might actually have to do the energy acceptor. Okay. Okay, energy acceptor. It's okay, we got one. All right, so energy acceptor, some of you, and some of you, and crafting terminal. Okay. So... We are going to take some energy from you, like so, right? And we're going to put you into this energy acceptor, like so. Crazy stuff going on. Then we are going to take this cable right here and plug in you, like so. Just all out in the middle of nowhere. And then, ha ha, yes, 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 yes. Is that using too much power? No, you're still going up. That's good. That's good. You're not using too much. And then we'll just put you right here. Like so. And a crafting terminal right here. Like so. And it's all lit up. And I can start dumping stuff. Dump, 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 dump. And let's see how much stuff I can just put on these two drives. Because I believe they hold 64 items. I'd have to double check on the numbers again. But I believe they hold like 64 items. By the way, putting um, all of your applied energistic stuff into your applied energistic system can be dangerous. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, 63 types. A whole bunch. So I got 32 types already. Because uh, once if this thing goes dead, all your stuff's inside. And that could be a bad, bad day. But let's see if we can clean some house. Getting rid of all these crazy chests and stuff. Right? Because I know a lot of the slots, because they're duplicate slots, uh, not a, you know, not a major issue. Because the that's, that's how it's designed. It's a lot of data per slot. So I can put like a ton of like gunpowder in, but it's technically only using one slot for the gunpowder. Where it can get messy is with like the bows and stuff, because they all have like a different durability. And so that could be an individual slot for each one. And that's where I can uh, start, you know, filtering stuff out. But, oh, this is going to, like, clean stuff up so much. And I can just take one of these crafting things upstairs soon. Oh, yeah. All right, how are we looking on storage? That one's getting close. Okay, so it's 63, but it's not full of data. And that one's got 12. So I can make another couple um, of those storage cells. That's that's not a big deal whatsoever. I'm not going to do it on camera because I think that would just... Well, we got the point. We got the point. So I think this was pretty productive. We've got... Um, what keeps breaking? I wonder if it's like one of my shears or something like that. I don't know. Something keeps breaking. But... Okay, we're like halfway there on this one. So, anyways, yeah, um, I, I think this was pretty productive. We've got our pl uh, applied energistics going now. <coughs> so now I'm just going to keep working on the system and improving on the system and, you know, making it better and more pretty and stuff. And uh, I think, I think by the time I get back next time, um, we might just do... Well, I might try to get some stuff done. I've got all that dirt being made right now, right? So that's huge. All that dirt's going to be being made because that's going to let me expand my uh, my area so I can start doing some prettiness instead of all this wood because this, this wood ain't pretty. It's just, it's really not pretty. And I want some prettiness in my life. 
I don't want to be, you know, feeling like I'm living on this, you know, stranded island. I want to feel like <coughs> I'm at home and I'm creating my own little neighborhood and stuff like that. And I uh, can't do that living on wood. Okay, so I've maxed. I've maxed these two cells. But that's okay. We've, we've shrunk down like three chests into this little guy right here. And I mean, we haven't really dipped into barely half of the bites used. <coughs> so that's not bad. So I might make like three or four more of these. And we should be good for a while. So I hope you guys are guys enjoying. Um, our automation is going crazy. Automated lava. Automated cobblestone. Automated freaking ores. A plenty. Automated dirt. How much dirt do we have? Just in this time we were recording this episode. How much dirt? I had almost two stacks. And now we're at almost three stacks. <coughs> much faster than putting all those saplings in. I'll tell you that much. And uh, we got some more of this essence going because we're going to want to be able to fly. And uh, soon. I want to fly soon. And so we're going to need a lot of this stuff. But it's cool. We're working on it. So until next time, guys, I'm Slaughter Havoc, and I'm out of here.